David Sheward, executive editor of Backstage, and we're here at the 63rd Annual Tony Awards. We asked presenters and nominees what their first big break in show business was. Oh, my first big break? Um, I guess, ooh. Uh, you're asking somebody who's too old to really remember. So long ago, you were probably not born. I don't know. <laughs> I guess my first big one was last year with Passing Strange. I did Speed the Plow in Chicago with William L. Peterson and, and, and D.W. Moffat. That was my first real job. First big break. I guess when I got my equity card uh, at the public. Well, I was in Greece with Rosie O'Donnell back in 19 blah, 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 blah. With, and so that was like my first kind of big role. And then when I did uh, Urine Town, probably. It was probably my most noteworthy thing. The first week break was Avenue Q for sure. I think title show is like the biggest kind of like thing, you know, according to like New York, New York break. My first big break in New York City was an off-Broadway show called Tomorrow the Living Movie. Oh gee, um, I guess it was the Calvin Klein ads that I did when I was 11 years old for Richard Avedon. In the Heights? I think? Yeah, in the Heights I would say. My biggest break I suppose was playing Ophelia opposite Jonathan Price's Hamlet. Oh. I was just the tallest one and that's all I had really. <laughs> I had a very nice break when I came over to the States in uh, 65 to do The Odd Couple with Walter Matthau and Art Carney, directed by Mike Nichols. I played the laundry man in Annie one time. That was pretty awesome before I turned into a rocker. My big break was when George C. Scott cast me in Present Laughter by Noel Coward. I was discovered, if you could call it, discovered in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Well, I was very lucky. I came out of the box as a star in my first film with Tony Perkins 50-some years ago. My first big break was to be put on the waiting list at Harvard Law and to win the McKnight Fellowship in Acting that was given to me by a man named James Binger. My, my first big break, I made my Broadway debut with uh, Guys and Dolls. Backstage has been my, my book, it's been the Bible. You know, for performers, you know, it, it's our guide to everything. When I was in school and had no understanding of, of the theater, backstage was the first thing that I turned to. On Wednesday night, I would get my backstage and circle all my auditions and everything, so it started my career, yeah. I was, you know, going through backstage all the time, actually online, and I got a wicked call on stage. I found a wicked call on stage. I went there and, you know, made it all the way through. So, you know, it really helped me. I loved backstage. I relied on it. Before I had an agent, I had backstage. All the jobs I got up until having a queue were through backstage. So, yes, thank you, backstage. <laughs> I'm addicted. I'm a little bit of a backstage junkie. Yeah. yeah.